Aloha, kakahiaka, Madam Speaker. Ua kani mai ka papa va'a. Ua uwe kalani po pano pano. Ua lele ka uhane ike ala ho i ole mai. The boards of the canoe moan. The dark clouded heavens weep. The spirit has embarked on the path with no return. Colleagues, I stand before you today to share with you and the nation the sad news of the passing of a great navigator, leader, educator, and friend, Chad Kalepa Babayan. On March 8, 1975, the deep sea voyaging canoe Hokulea was launched. Born of legends and stories brought to life to the paintings of the acclaimed Hawaiian artist Herb Kane, it was the first Hawaiian voyaging canoe to sail Hawaii's waters in over 600 years and became a catalyst for Hawaiian pride and identity during the Hawaiian Renaissance. At the age of 19, Kalepa's first connection to Hokulea was on the shores of his home island of Maui in 1975 during Hokulea's sail trials and crew training. This first connection inspired him and forever changed his life. He has diligently served the voyaging movement ever since, learning, growing, then mastering and teaching the next generation of navigators. Kalepa also believed deeply in the importance of education as a vessel to expand the reach of voyaging and the legacy of education his kupuna and lahui, his ancestors and nation left for him to continue. Kalepa obtained a bachelor's in Hawaiian studies and a master's in education all while being intimately involved with voyaging and wayfinding. He was fluent in Olelo Hawaii and had a firm belief that indigenous knowledge guiding modern technologies will hold the answers to many of the challenges facing our world today. In his professional career, Kalepa served as the site director of Honukai, the Exploration Sciences Division of the Aha Punanaleo, where his dedication to his language culture and love of voyaging inspired him to build the first Hawaiian language voyaging canoe, Hoku Alaka'i, that touched hundreds of students and introduced them to voyaging through the perspective of his native tongue. Kalepa then went on to serve as the first ever navigator in residence at the Imiloa Astronomy Center at UH Hilo, which he helped to establish. His work at Imiloa also allowed him to engage in the international indigenous education movement while also engaging in the various sciences, bringing the knowledge of his people to the world. Kalepa was one of just five native Hawaiian navigators inducted into the rank of Po by the late Satawali's master navigator, Pius Mao Pi Lug in 2007. And when asked about the kuleana or responsibilities of being a Po master navigator, Kalepa would always simply state that being Po is being a light for your community and for your people. Most recently, Kalepa was key to the success of the worldwide voyage, which took the voyaging canoe Hokulea around the world on 31 legs to over 150 ports in 18 nations and to these very shores of Washington, D.C. in May of 2016, bringing attention to the health of the oceans, its people, and the need for a more sustainable world. Kalepa crewed 18 of the 31 legs of this three-year voyage and over his career logged more miles voyaging than any other crew member in the nearly five-decade history of the Polynesian voyaging canoe Hokulea. Kalepa was first and foremost a dedicated and loving husband, son, sibling, father, and grandfather who sought tirelessly to do his part in creating a better world for his ohana, his family, and for all children of the world. His unwavering commitment to being a light to his community and his desire to make this world a better place has always shone forth. Colleagues, Kalepa is a prime example of the type of leader we should all aspire to be one who inspires others to action while at the same time creating opportunities, often times when they least expect it, to fulfill their responsibilities 
to their communities. Madam Speaker, on April 8, 2021, Kalepa took his final voyage from this earthly realm. Eola Mauloa Kainoa O Chad Kalepa Babayan. His legacy will live on. May we learn from this legacy of service as we lead this nation and navigate the waters ahead.